Hello and welcome to another video. So this one is going to be a little bit difficult I reckon. We are now into the summer months uh, up in the northern UK and uh, we get no astro darkness up here. From now, which is um, really start of May until towards the end of July, there's no astro dark. So uh, this is probably going to be quite difficult. There's also an 80% moon tonight, but I'm really wanting to know, and I know a lot of people are also really wanting to know what the comparison is like between the old Samyang 135 and the new Samyang 135. So I'm going to have a go anyway. Um, there will also be a test to see whether I can still shoot some um, some astro targets. Uh, I'm thinking about using my HA filter, see if I can still grab some hydrogen alpha targets um, whilst we've got the next two months of, of no astro dark. So, so that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. I'm going to um, compare the, the two 135s. Uh, I, shoot on the Veil Nebula is what I'm hoping for and we can do a comparison between the two. If it doesn't work and we can't really see many stars then I do have some previous images from the old 135 and the new 135. They're just not of the same targets but we can still check the corners for sharpness and you know all that kind of good stuff so uh, that's the plan for tonight. Um, other than that I just might, might shoot a star trail or something like that but I, I shot the Veil Nebula a, few, a couple of nights ago but it was in my Bortle 5 garden but that was the last night of Astro Dark so I'm hoping to add a bit more data to that the plan is to do like i'm going to do like half an hour with the ha filter on each lens and then uh, and then half an hour in each lens without the ha filter then we can have a little comparison and then i can combine them together and hopefully get a shot so it's so enough chatting let's get on with it right i've got i've got the data I got, uh, I got a, what I wanted with the HA filter, I got half an hour on the old 135 in RGB, but then just then as I put the new 135 on, the cloud has come in now. So I still will have photos to compare, uh, I just don't have the full half an hour uh, of each, which is, which is fine, we've still got something to compare. So uh, I'm done for now, I'm going to go and grab a foreground uh, somewhere local so that I can put the veil over the foreground when it's done. And, uh, and then, yeah, we'll jump in front of the computer and have a look at those shots. Smash your music out. Right, okay, so let's jump into a screen record. Let's have a look at the final image. And I, um, considering, I'm reasonably happy with the veil image. It, it, it was taken over two nights. It was taken um, one night in my Bortle 5 garden with an hour of HA and half an hour of RGB. Then it was taken another night at a Bortle 4 location with virtually a full moon and no astro dark. So combining the two together, uh, considering, like it's not an amazing shot, but considering combining the two together, I'm quite happy with the final shot. I'll just stick it up on screen. Right, what we'll do is we will do the comparison of the old and the new 135. Okay, so over here is the old over here is the new. Um, first thing you can see straight away is that the um, that extra, whatever it is, third of a stopper light, you can really tell the difference between f2 and f1.8. It is, it is a big difference. Right, let's go into the corners. Um, Vignette in looks worse on the old one. And let's see how the corners look to compare. Um, they look more elongated on the on the new than the old. Let's go through the corners. That's interesting. That's the bottom corner. Again, more elongated on the on the new one over here. Still a bit of coma and stuff around the big stars. Uh, let's go over to this corner. And actually, that's out of focus on the old. It's, it's better focus on the new. That's interesting. Is it out of focus all the way over? So look in this corner. 
Um, that's interesting. I'd say that the the new corner is better than that one. Okay, zoom that back out, zoom back into the center. Uh, again, apart from really the stopper light, it being a bit brighter, I wouldn't say there's too much in there. I'm not very good at this. Uh, I will, um, I'll stick a few raws in straight out of camera um, into, uh, into a folder, I'll put them in the, as a link down below so you can check it yourself. I'm not very good at this stuff. Um, why don't we then stop doing that one and um, what if we compare the HA? ones that I took. So select the two together. Let's compare them side by side. Um, that is the new over on that side. And this is the old over on this side. But what have we got? So uh, a minute and ISO 1600 and then yeah, a minute and ISO 1600. So the difference you can see again is the 1.8 versus the F2. Um, both looking pretty decent in the middle to be fair aren't they um, right let's go over to the corners again massive vignette but that's from the um, that's from the uh, clipping filter I'd say the F2 I don't know if it's a um, fair comparison to be honest F2 um, against F1.8, because it's probably more likely to be more coma and stuff on the 1.8 than the F2. I don't know. Um, quickly over to the corners. There's definitely, well, there's definitely more stars over in the corners uh, on the 1.8, but they're, they're more elongated on the 1.8 than the F2, that's for sure. And then last one is, this is the um, the new 135 that I shot from the garden the other day. Let's find an old 135. That looks like old 135 to me. Okay, um, yeah, you can obviously see the, the difference straight away. This one shot bought a five straight out of camera. This one shot bought a four straight out of camera. And I don't know, again, I don't know how much of a comparison this is really because I'm not very good at checking this stuff. Right, let's go to the corners. I would say on this one, though that I've not nailed focus on the old 135 over here. One minute ISO 800 but this one over here is 30 seconds ISO 800. I don't know how good the comparison is, but that's out of focus. Um, corners looking very similar on the two actually, across the two of them. So maybe it's a, maybe it's a focusing thing, I don't know. Um, that corner's probably looking better than these are. But they're two different targets this time. One is the um, North American Nebula, and the other one is obviously the um, veil that I shot in the garden. Um, this corner, much better on this one, but it's out of focus. Corner's better over there again, but yeah, I'll stick some, I'll stick some down below. You can see what you think, uh, have a look through them. Overall though, really happy with that new. Uh, new 135. I just need more chance to use it. Uh, it's just really frustrating that we've gone into where well, you don't get any astral darkness in the north now, so it's really frustrating. But um, yeah, I can't wait to uh, to use it some more. So, right, have a look at the, at the pictures yourself if you want to. Uh, let me know what you think down below. And uh, and again, uh, this won't be the final review. This is just a comparison of the two side by side. And uh, I'll do a final review with probably a little bit more in depth than this, but. That's it for the video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll hopefully see you again soon. Take care.